I remember having to go into the clinic and getting the, um, the long list of potential side effects and things that could go wrong. And there was a girl in the, in the small group of us who left crying. Um, and I remember that was part of the guilt that I felt after. Um, how come I could go through with it? Like, she couldn't go through with it, but I could go through with it, even though I knew it was wrong. That was, that was a huge part of the guilt that I felt. I felt like I knew what I was doing. I knew it was wrong, but yet I went through with it anyway because I think ultimately because my identity was at stake. I was the, the per, I was Little Miss Perfect, and I could not be pregnant at 18. Like, I, I felt like a statistic, like this could not be happening. And I, I was one of those kids who, who never even had to be punished, really, growing up, because just the thought of disappointing my parents was more than I could bear. So you find out you're pregnant at 18, I could not even imagine having that conversation with my parents. And I thought that that choice was going to bring freedom, even though I knew it was wrong, um, that I could just keep it a secret and go on with my life as planned. But that guilt just festered. And a few years later, I did end up needing to tell my parents because of, of a circumstance that, that happened. And their first response was, we are so sorry that you felt like you couldn't come to us. And I realized that I didn't even give them the chance. I let that guilt and that shame keep me from reaching out for help when help really was available to me. Um, I suffered with that for so many years, just the, the shame of that secret, that, that feeling that people would look at you differently if they knew that. Um, and, and knowing, again, that, that I was a Christian from a young age. So it wasn't like I made this choice and then I came to faith and realized what I did was wrong. It wasn't until I went through recovery that I really understood the true meaning of forgiveness. Uh, it boils down to Jesus on the cross saying, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. And that was a huge part of my guilt because I thought, God, how can I forgive myself? For I knew what I was doing. I knew it was wrong. But when I went through that process and realized, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do, I thought, well, Clearly, I didn't know what I was doing because I would never make that choice again, knowing what I know now. So whatever it is that, that holds us back, that keeps us holding on to that guilt and that shame, it is not too much for God to handle. There is no such thing as a point of no return. There is no such thing as this sin is too great. This sin is too dark. What I did was too terrible. That's not true. That's a lie from the enemy. And no matter what the guilt, no matter what the shame, when we bring it to the foot of the cross and really trust that what Jesus did is enough, forgiveness and freedom really is possible.